Today, I will be teaching you about Newton's first law combined with how energy is transferred. The first example I'll be showing you is an unbalanced net force in the x-direction. So I'll be pushing this chair past its balance point, and the chair will begin to accelerate in a positive direction. In this case, I've chosen the positive direction to be the direction of daily displacement. As you can see, the net force is bigger in the positive direction due to the stronger applied force of my hand. We know that the chair is not at a constant velocity because the chair begins to speed up when I let it go. I can connect this to our energy unit as well. The energy starts off with chemical from my body. The food we eat fuels us and gives us that chemical energy in order for us to be active. This energy is then transferred to the chair and the reason it moves is due to my transfer of chemical into kinetic. This chemical energy that I have is transferred to kinetic to the chair and that's the reason why it moves. If I were to push this chair, it would slow down and eventually come to, this, to a stop like we've just seen. This is due to thermal energy. Or, to refer to our forces unit, it would be called friction. My second example will be an unbalanced net force in the y direction. In this demonstration, I'll let go of this ball and let it drop directly to the ground. As you can see, the ball quickly accelerated downwards, and here's why. The only force acting on the object is gravity. There is no net force in the x direction, and there's no force acting on the ball upwards. Therefore, the ball is accelerating down due to an external unbalanced force of gravity. For energy in this case, the stored energy flows from chemical to gravitational and kinetic. Let's say in this situation, the ball goes from all the way up at the top at rest to halfway down. As you can see from this bar chart, the kinetic and gravitational change based upon where the ball is. The higher up means more gravitational potential energy and the lower down means the less. The ball speeds up as previously stated, so this means that the kinetic energy increases. My last and final example will be leaving an object to rest at rest or moving it at a constant velocity. In this case, if I take this jar and leave it at rest, the only two forces acting on it would be the force of gravity pushing it down and this table pushing it upwards. If I move it at a constant velocity, there's the applied force in my hand and the force of friction acting on it in the x direction. Um, the applied force and force of friction would balance out if it's moving at a constant velocity like so. You would think that the applied force would be bigger since it's moving in the direction of the applied force, but according to Newton's first law, if it's at a constant velocity, then the forces balance out. 